All right, back to it, back to it. Get back to it. Let's do this shit. Fuck, let's go. Beat his ass with the chain. Oh, fuck. I'm warning you, kid. Back off! Don't point at me. Probably have stinky pinky. Not going anywhere until you fix this. Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear. Rah, come back Why? here, bitch. You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of run for your life. You fucking and run away from do, me. Even if I gotta go through you. Not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that oh you Oh my god, it. whoa. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. The DUP's coming. And she knows I'm on to her plan. Beat the shit out of me. Ow. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well. Whoever's oh, coming is coming for you, me. man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you. And she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Oh, I have to open the door. The one door. Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Fuck! Alright. Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed oh, in you. Oh, his name's Henry. Alright. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience. There are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. You're, well, you look like... Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. She looks like Rosie O'Donnell. I'd be scared, too. That bitch is ugly. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? She's got that ghetto chain on her neck, um, too. Share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies. Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share. Anything. Bet you she's got coffee breath. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes. To ensure that we win that war. Okay. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? And now you're in trouble. You should have shut okay. up. Okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary, like now, for instance... I got my know my rights! Again? What happened to I me? know my rights! I'll tell you again. Oh! Ouch! I'm told that hurts. Yeah. Fuck that. Maybe I know what happened to no, there. No, Betty, don't. No. Really? Still nothing. Looks like her necklace fucking marijuana well, leaf. Unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. <laughs> but mean, you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle. Bones. We are in Washington, and so. if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one. The next, I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? So... I guess this is where I'm gonna decide which role I'm gonna play in this game.
and there's really no way that I'm gonna sell out my people because I'm just not an asshole so I'm just gonna turn myself in so I guess we're gonna be a hero I'm a conduit what? I said I'm a conduit alright? I caught it a second ago from from that guy oh you caught it very funny. Ah! God! Tell him. Ah! So, Betty. Maybe you can give me a straight answer. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm told that hurts. She says that to fucking everybody. Oh shit, now it's sideways. That's such a big change. Now we are a protector. Very cool. Wake up. Wake up. She got his arm and his legs. That sucks, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. This guy has a fucking picture of Consuela from Family Guy on his fucking little nightstand here. <laughs> Woo! That's some funny shit. It's probably not Consuela, but it fucking looks just like her. How did anyone do this? Oh okay, my god, how? Out. Fuck, right through the head like that? Jesus. Fuck, that would suck so bad. No one could stop her. Oh, yep, there it is, right through the neck, right there. Oh my god, and she's still alive? Fucking miserable. Oh my god. Betty. Delson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was gonna rat you out to that ornery trot? <laughs> Besides, at the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. <laughs> so that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. <laughs> yeah. Neither should you. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. All that matters is I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bio terrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. Hmm. Huh? You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. <laughs> The whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're gonna be such a buzzkill, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep. Because <laughs> I need my rest. So that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. You're gonna be fine. 
Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. That would suck so fucking bad, man. I'll fix this. Oh, man, Delson! Whoa. <sighs> Damn it, I thought we were gonna lose you there. A little concrete in the legs? It's a thing more than that. Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, um, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? All right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. And screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with yep. you? Come on, man. I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly. Part of this power is great sex. I'll together. just trick her into having sex with me. She'll do anything I, I say. Just watch. I did this. And I gotta fix it. <laughs> no, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you wanna help, but the doctors have already said the only The only way it's kidding out is with the same power. I get it. Which means. We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? Wait, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. What truck? I don't have a truck, I... <laughs> That's my truck. It is your truck, boy. Let's go. All right, I got this whole thing figured out. Okay, we we hit the town. We load up at the All You Can Leech Conduit Power Buffet. We maybe swing by the Space Needle. Always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town. There's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, hit back. What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like super Fuck. Be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Don't worry, Dale, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Great. Huh. Scully Trail. Well, looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey, we're walking, motherfucker. Don't you listen? Damn it. <laughs> Holy crap! Would you look at this? Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I are you, are you kidding me? This is amazing. <laughs> This is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a post-apocalyptic Vegas. 